What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video and we're still awaiting the 10.13 or 10.69 update which is coming supposedly August 20th although as of today employees still have not received that update so a little iffy, a little up in the air in my opinion although Elon has confirmed it is on schedule and on time but what we have received while waiting for that is a map update. So if we go to software here uh, we have navigation data 2022.28. Our last one was actually from 2021. I think it was .48. So it was map data from last year, the end of last year. And, you know, Tesla talks about, or Elon, I guess should say, I should say, talks about not using map data in the cars. Although, what is this, a trash can? <laughs> Fake phantom trash can. That's funny. Um, the Tesla, of course, does use map data, but it does not use HD map data like uh, something like Waymo uses where they pre-LiDAR scan all the roads, all the potholes, all the bumps, and they keep that map updated constantly, uh, which, you know, is very helpful and, and would help this car as well. Tesla doesn't try to use that. They use normal standard definition maps that have, you know, turns and streets and all that, kind of like a memory. So if you ever notice yourself driving, you will drive a lot better in a place you're familiar with be, uh, uh, versus somewhere you're not familiar with. You'll do more phantom braking, like you, the human. <laughs> you'll, you'll drive slower. You'll do those kinds of things when you're not familiar. So updated maps are really important to get uh, correct turns and things down. So nice stop for this red light here. Um, it's important for the car to, to do its correct maneuvers uh, to have those updated maps to do those things. So let me skip this red light for you. All right, so if you can't tell, I'm a little hyped up on coffee right now. You guys seem to love when I'm hyped up on coffee. The kids, you know, keep me up late and I drink a lot of coffee. And uh, that coffee is thanks to Trade. This video is sponsored by Trade because of my two hungry babies. My wife would love to tell you about Trade. So thank you, Trade, for sponsoring this video. Today is Trade Day, which is always an exciting day in our house when our trade arrives in the mail. Today we've got Greater Goods Coffee and we have an espresso machine. So on our quiz for trade that we filled out, this coffee is specially made to go very well with our espresso machine. Dark chocolate brown sugar, full body, like sounds delicious, right? And today is August 1st and it was roasted. You can see they wrote the date on July 28th. So it's extremely fresh. Trade Coffee connects you to the best craft roasters in the country, ethically source their beans from the greatest places in the world. And they deliver this fresh coffee straight to your door. Right now, Trade is offering my viewers a total of 30 off their first order, plus free shipping when you go to drinktrade.com slash dirtytesla or click the link in the description below. This offer will not last forever, so be sure to take advantage. Get started by taking the simple quiz at drinktrade.com slash dirtytesla and let Trade find you a coffee you'll love. That's drinktrade.com slash dirtytesla for $30 off, make sure you use my URL and click the link below so they know I sent you. Give that. Ooh. So get your coffee with my link below. Thank you to Trade for sponsoring this video. All right, and Trade let you skip that red light too. That is amazing. So seriously, link in the, in the description. Anyway, going through this uh, green arrow here, let's see if the car chooses the correct lane this time. And I accidentally disengage. dang it. <laughs> that's, that's how easy it is to disengage. Just have your hand near the wheel and you'll disengage. So last time the car picked the wrong lane and, and I had some comments about that. People saying that wasn't the incorrect lane, but the left turn lanes are like this and, and those two lanes are, are also like this. You need to stay here. And it is a bit confusing using because a, a left turn or a turnaround or whatever lane opens over here, but you really need to be in that right lane when you're in the right left turn lane there. So the car did do that incorrectly last time. That was an accidental uh, disengagement. So I'm not gonna count it because I definitely was not planning on disengaging there. If you wanna count that, of course, I put all the data up so you can do that if you want. Uh, but so yeah, we're gonna go into downtown. We're gonna do pretty much the same drive as last time because for, for one main reason, well, a few reasons, but really I wanna compare with these this new map data, um, which, you know, the car's been, been handling really well for me, like I said in the last video. And uh, also that closed road, I'm gonna hope it's still closed. So we're planning for a lane change here, nice job. Um, I'm gonna, oh, we got a car in the way. So they're not gonna let us in, which that's fine. Um, they don't have to. Uh, I'm gonna hope that road is still closed and we'll see if the car reroutes itself. Whoa, they're gonna turn into me. What's going on here? <laughs> they actually had damage on that side of their car. So that was kind of scary. Uh, we'll see if the car reroutes around that closed road um, when we get there. Should I skip this red light too? All right, let's do it. All right, lots of red lights. The car's gonna need to get over pretty quick here if it wants to make this turn. This is actually a different right than it's taken before. So I'm curious if there you go, you did it. So I'm curious if, all right, you're gonna stop for this stop sign? No, not like last time. 
uh, these map updates has caused the car to want to take this right instead of the one we normally take, which is further up there, that the car's actually messed up a lot in the past. The last video, it did it perfectly. Um, but yeah, so slightly different uh, directions here, maybe because of those map updates, but handled pretty well so far. And let's see, will we stop for that yellow? No, I, I probably would have stopped for that one. It was a little iffy. We got an open car door here, which the Tesla does display, but it needs to move over for that person. So that was pretty tight considering that open car door, but handled really well. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I don't know. A lot of debate in the comments when we go through a yellow. A lot of people are like, would stop for every yellow. And then there's there seems an equal amount of people that stop for no yellows. <laughs> They're like, I'm gonna step on it. Um, so I'll let you be the judge of that one. I think I probably would have stopped if I was driving, but it, I did not see red above me. Um, so maybe it wasn't too late. So a little weird stop back there, probably because of the pedestrian nearby stopping at the stop sign. So normally we'd be coming from over there. Um, so this is actually a better, more efficient way to drive. Uh, and I'm wondering again if the map update caused that. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so that's I, I would say that's one improvement we've already seen um, with this map update. So it looks like this bus, he's just trying to get some space here. Those people are, are in his way. Now, we were here after him, and now we should go. And, oh, okay, wow, nice. That was actually perfect. Um, the car did a really good job just completely waiting for the bus, because it was his turn. Uh, and it didn't proceed until it was a great time. I, I thought the, the car might start creeping and getting impatient, but it did really well there. We are also on assertive. Did you see that? See on the screen? It, for a second, looked like it wanted to go around. But it fixed itself, luckily. Stopping back far away from the pedestrian. And then I'm not sure if we'll do another roll up and stop at the stop sign. No, it says waiting for our turn, which would be after this Jeep. There's a person to the left I think it's a little cautious of. And now that, wow, I don't know, that was perfect. Now that the person has kind of moved off to the other side, the car's like, all right, I'm good to go. Love that waiting for our turn message, our turn, <laughs> me in the car, not the car by itself. So that's really good. And then again, this is different than the, the route we normally take. So this is very strange. Um, so it's... I don't know, I mean, it's a comparison, but it's taking a totally different route now that it has this new map data. And maybe it's more efficient, maybe it's easier for the car. Uh, who knows, it's using more uh, intersections with traffic lights to help it or something like that. I don't know, I like it. I mean, whatever the car can do to get me there A to B, I'm gonna be happy with. So unprotected left, we have a scooter. We have a couple cars after this white car we can go. I don't like this turned like this. I'm being picky, but it's kind of dumb. We're getting a little close. There you go, to that whatever gas car is there. Okay, that was actually really good. I'm, I'm being super picky, but but I liked that. And then moving into, oh, okay, we're gonna wait for this guy. He's waving at a robot. He does not know that, but that's cool. Wow, beautiful. Okay, the second he's out of the way, we slowly move up into our little space here. Oh my gosh, this is really good so far. Feels very natural. Um, I am being super picky, so, uh, some of you might call me out on that, but we're going to keep it up. All right, so we get the green and pretty interesting intersection here, but the car is handling it perfectly. Beautiful, really nice acceleration, perfectly placed itself into the lane. Love it. Okay, so now we're going to go to our next destination, but we don't normally come from this way. So I'm not sure the car's stopping because this is our route. No one's behind us. I'm not sure exactly how the car is going to handle this. Because uh, again, this is different than our normal route, thanks to, I'm going to assume, our new map data. So beautifully picks up the new route pretty much immediately and makes this right turn. I mean, this is great. So we stopped and then it's clear. Wow, okay. <laughs> it's clear. We made our complete stop. It's clear. Uh, now we are in, okay, I'll just, you know what? You do it. <laughs> Tesla, you're killing it. I was going to, you know, correct you. Well, say that you're doing the wrong thing, but you pretty much immediately picked up uh, that it was in the wrong lane and kept going. So, oh, good acceleration. Jeez, <laughs> like good. Not too hard, but we're going. I mean, it's time to go. The car goes. I love it. I don't want to be hanging out, doing all this really slow stuff. So that person moves over. Let's see, we should do the same. Beautiful, beautiful. What is this? Green? Are you going to sail through it? No, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Okay, okay. I was, I was getting ready to hit the accelerator there. I don't want to be stopping at a green. That's just ridiculous. All right, I think maybe I was wrong. I think this is the way we took last time. It is, because the car missed this right turn last time. So let's see if it's gonna get it this time with new map data. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, oh, awkward, awkward, but hey, it did it. It did it, that was pretty awkward. I'm gonna report it, but I didn't need to do anything. And this turn was totally missed in the last video. The car pretty much drove 
right past it. So nice that we got it this time. This new, this little area over here, the cyclist and the whatever, the cement there, that is new as of, I don't know, six, six to 12 months ago, something like that. Um, so that, you know, map data can help with that stuff. Although the car has taken this road with, with that stuff there, but I guess maybe it confused it last time. And I got some comments about the red light last time. We had actually already moved through that light when it turned red and that's why the car kept going because we were already like way into the intersection. So normal there, I'm gonna expect a braking, yep gonna break because these people are walking towards the road but they stop and the car continues so it, even though we had the green it doesn't stop people from jumping in front of you so the car's just ready for them since they have that velocity to kind of get in front of us the car's not gonna uh, allow itself to go too fast and put those people at risk so like this guy he should not have been walking there because we have a green light the car slowed for him and then continued when he was out of the way All right, I know I'm talking a lot here, but a lot is happening. So I'm noticing on this map data, this destination is different. It used to take us around uh, the back of this. And this left turn has notoriously been a problem where the car would try to turn into the wrong direction. So let's see what it does here. Uh, yeah, so, okay, it, it cut off that lane, not as bad as it's been in the past. Um, but let me, hold on, <laughs> let me put in the next destination. Because normally the car would take a right up here, but it looks like the new, oh, I don't want that one. It looks like the new map data has uh, changed the destination there. So we're going to green plan. Uh, whereas before the car would take basically this right right here um, without me changing the destination. So let's see if this will, oh, so now it's gonna take this left. So things are totally different now with this new map data. And you know what, I'm for it because this drive has been so good. That left turn in the past, if you, I haven't done that left in a while because the car hasn't taken that road in a while, but if you watch the old videos, the car really screwed that left turn up a lot in the past mm. where it would just turn too hard and then be kind of going into oncoming traffic. Uh, of course, I would correct it, but that's what it would try to do. All right, so I'm loving our positioning here, but I'm gonna say with all of these cars, we're probably gonna get a yellow, especially if people get in the intersection and get in our way and the, and the Tesla in the past, won't go. So let's see. Are you going to go? Nope. And now I'm stuck here. So <laughs> I thought the truck was going to go. I was going to push it, but I couldn't. And now we're in the crosswalk um, and in these people's way. So that is really annoying. So, so now this, <laughs> this, this guy is, is waving me along. Oh my gosh. So I have to push the accelerator. You could see before, the truck waved me along when the light was red <laughs> because he started to go and he could tell that because he started to go, we did not. That was just a mess. So it was an intervention. I did intervene. I did help the car out there. Um, but yeah, that was a total mess. And it's something the car has to account for because when you're in those city situations, you just have to drive really aggressively. I'm not sure what the car would do be or, or how it's going to solve that because I don't think the car is ever going to go through a red. But if I was driving in that situation, I would have just went through that red because I'm already pretty much in the intersection. I, I know I'm not gonna have a chance next time either. I need to just do it. So we're unprotected here. There are people uh, crossing the road over there though. And now we're slowly moving through. This guy ran in front of us, cyclists. Wow, okay, so so not bad, not bad. I actually didn't even see that person until he was, he was past the car there. Um, but the car slowly creeped towards that intersection and uh, we made it through. So again, that dude is walking quickly towards the crosswalk, so the car slows down. It's not sure if he's gonna come out in front. It realizes that he is not, so then it speeds back up. So this is the definitely the wrong move here. We change lanes away from cones, which is totally screwing us up. Let's see, can we make it back? It is safe to move back over here, and we did. So we have this green, but it sees the people walking into the road. Uh, so it's gonna wait for them. Really should move way up, because it's probably gonna miss the light if it doesn't. Okay, cyclists handled well. Okay, all right, that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. I would have moved up more to be ready for that, but uh, I like it, I like it, I like what it did. All right, now this has been a really difficult intersection. I wish the car would move over to the left some more so people can go around us. Ooh, you are not sure what to do here. Okay, we gotta wait for the cars, obviously. Um, so it's ready to go into that area. So at least it kind of, you know, it's displaying the right move coming up, but there's cars in the way, so you can't go. Um, and it's being pretty aggressive, which like, to be honest, I like, but 
you have to wait for all the cars. So <laughs> don't go anymore. Um, let's see. So there's a tiny little gap here, which is not, not a good time to go. Okay, cool. That guy's got to turn left. So he's doing his thing. We're still waiting. So they must have a red now. And you can do it. I think it's, yeah, it's hesitant from the people. And boom, wow, stepped on it. All right, cool. So yeah, all right, not bad. A lot of hesitancy. It did handle it. It has messed up that intersection, that left turn specifically tons of times in the past. So I'm happy to see it do it, especially with all those cars, people around. Um, so again, a little awkward. It's a friggin' robot, you know, who cares? Um, I was talking, I didn't know if we were them. Oh, wow, <laughs> jeez. They went blasting through and there were pedestrians in the crosswalk. I hate that crap, man. I mean, they went so fast, like within feet of those pedestrians. It's just crazy. Um, so we're finishing up here. We're not going to the road closed sign. And a few of you had theorized that the car had, I get this, you know, no traffic data crap that you see right now all the time. A few people had guessed like the traffic data came back and then the car fixed itself. I don't know. I've never seen that scenario. We've been in this intersection where that road was closed and the car tried to turn into um, the closed road and I had to take over. So stopping and then I don't think cross traffic stops. So we'll have to wait here for a car that's kind of far away. All right, the car's waiting. So anyway, um, we're, we're almost done here. This drive was very good. Wow, I am, I am pretty blown away. So we had my accidental disengagement, which I'm not gonna put in the chart, but you can do that if you want. And we had my intervention that, you know what? Some of you are gonna be like, no, it's a Tesla's fault. But I, I truly believe that was a lot because, wow, okay, sweet. That was uh, human error for the most part because that truck started to move and so we didn't go. If he hadn't moved, I would have pushed the accelerator through. Still would have been an intervention, but I think the human aspect made that a lot worse. So um, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you have questions, leave those down below. I cannot wait for the next version. This is super exciting that we're seeing this level of driving with a map update and not even a full, you know, .69 or whatever you want to call it update. Um, so yeah, I'd love to talk to you down in the comments below. Uh, hit like, get subscribed, all that good stuff, and you will see me and Full Self Driving Beta with no navigation in the next video. Oh, let, hold on, wait, nope, we gotta see how it handles this, let's go. Oh, are you gonna move? Oh, thank you, human. And easy, so easy. Fold the mirrors, no, friggin' easy. Awesome, all right, see you in the next one.